All right, so in this one, we're gonna create a remove from cart. And this one's actually a lot easier than our add to cart. So if we do define remove from cart, and it's gonna take in a request, and then it's just gonna take in an ID. Uh, we still need to get the cart uh, itself. So um, we don't, we're not gonna create the cart. So it's gonna be just like what we've seen up here. So the ID and if the ID, so all this stuff. So go ahead and copy that. Uh, I'm gonna do try. All right, so now I'll actually leave this up here. And we, if it, if it, for some reason, if all that stuff fails, we're just gonna return render to response going back into the cart. Uh, if the cart ID doesn't exist, we'll just do that. All right, so now what we'll do is just delete the cart um, item using remove from cart so it's we're just gonna just that's all we're gonna do is just go cart item equals to cart item dot objects dot get id equals to id so this, this is gonna have to accept the id of the cart item uh we actually probably don't even need any of this stuff but this is making sure that the cart even exists in our session and then that way we can actually delete it because if it doesn't exist, then they shouldn't be able to delete any cart item uh, beyond the session ID, right? So that probably wouldn't make any sense at all. Um, so then we just do cart item dot delete, um, or we could change it to being inactive. So if we look in our models, cart item, oh, we don't even have active, so that's okay. We'll just do cart item delete. And then after that, we will return it. We probably would want to send success message. We'll come back and do that sometime. Uh, but for now, we're just doing remove from cart. All right, so now that we have that in our URL, let's go into our cart. And I'm going to do above this, I'm going to add in an ID. And this is only taking a digit, so slash D plus, just like that. So it's going to take in the ID and it's going to go remove from cart, remove from cart. And then let's take a look at our view. All right, so this is gonna delete that actual cart item from our cart. Uh, it's gonna delete it in general, uh, but we could, another way we could do this is grab that ID and then just remove the cart from that cart item. So then it's still there we still have it on our system, but we don't have it, um, active in the cart. So that would be another way. Let's actually do it that way. And I'll just say cart item.cart equals to none. And then cart item dot save. So we'll see that. We'll try both ways so we can at least look at it. All right, so now that we have this, um, our URL, we can actually use this in our view now remember when I change this to a hash, I can just change it back into remove from cart or URL double quotes. And then we have to do item.id because it's the cart item ID and now we can remove it. So let's go and look at our cart. So we have our cart here and what you'd see is uh, on the bottom left over here, you can see it says remove and it has a number right next to cart. So if I click on that, it actually removes it from my cart. Um, so that removed it from the cart, but it actually didn't delete it from my models or my from my database, excuse me. Um, so this just takes the cart away from it. If I do that, it will actually delete that um, from our database completely. Um, so it actually goes away. So if I go into admin, look at cart items, I see Okay, so now it actually goes away, right? So that cart went away and now it just sticks on product. And then the, if we have the cart right now that we're working with, I think is two. So I'm gonna go back into my cart and just delete everything, right? And then go back into admin, cart items. Now I only have three things, right? So if I change it, put this back into cart item two go back into cart, we see that that item comes back. 
All right, so that's kind of going to be up to you. Um, I'm going to leave it as inactive because I would actually kind of like to see what people add and remove, right? So analytics-wise, might as well keep it. Um, so then now I can just remove and it will show that stuff for me. Uh, notice that the, a lot of things haven't actually updated. Um, so updating the actual list of the cart items is not in there as well as the total for the cart doesn't update until we go to add to cart. So what I'll do instead of having all of the things that actually update the cart, instead of having them on add to cart, I'll move them into view cart because we're gonna view the cart either way. So I'm gonna cut that out and just scroll up and add it to the view into if the cart ID exists. So add it here. And let's just think about this for a second. We've got our cart, so cart item set. We've got that, that's correct. So this will come through because of this. And request session, it has a request, so we can actually set the session to the total. And we can set the cart, the new cart, to the total and save it. So now, every time we view the cart, it will actually update it for us, right? So we see that it updates. And then when we add a product, it we go end up viewing the cart anyway. So um, when we scroll down here, this is redirecting us to the cart itself. We might want to have a success message here as well. Uh, that, that would probably make sense and maybe an error message if it doesn't work. All right, so like we'll get to those later, but we have our success message, remove from cart, add to cart, now view cart. Um, a lot of these things work a little bit better than they than they have before. Um, so as you see, when I click remove, it actually shows me the proper number. I can add to cart from things that don't have attributes, and it's showing me the project uh, proper number or excuse me variations. Every single one I can do that, and it actually does update the cart. Unfortunately, now though, if I add another T-shirt, it's still adding those multiple carts. Um, so are there multiple items for that specific t-shirt and it's not grouping these things together. Uh, so it's not really always going to be super smart at this point. Uh, hopefully we can actually update it in the future. But for now we added remove to cart and we have it to where it updates pretty well. Now overall this is an, a pretty functioning cart. I mean it could be better from a user standpoint. Um, but as far as an actual functionality standpoint, it's totally there. And now we have all the data that we need. So for products with the variations in them and then for products without them, all that stuff's coming through and it works fine. So if you actually used just this and then added the checkout process, uh, it would work for most people. I mean, some people might get kind of confused. Hey, why is it there twice? Um, but if that happened, well, you know, that's two items. I mean, they like most people, if they're buying stuff, they, they would be able to read this and say, hey, I mean, I don't want two of these t-shirts. Let me remove one. Okay, boom, gone. Right, so that's kind of one of those things that, that um, is just a user uh, usability, like improving user usability. That's one of those things, but realistically, it functions great. All right, so we will see you in the next one.